Welcome to my channel! Learn with Teacher Ellie! Grade 2, Revised K-12 Curriculum, Quarter 3, Mathematics, Week 5, Day 1. Objectives at the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to solve multiplication problems using the multiplication table of 2, including problems involving money. Find the product of each of the following. Today, we will learn how to solve multiplication problems using the multiplication table of 2, including problems involving money. Here are some words that we could tackle during our lesson for today. Let us read the problem below and answer the following questions. For problem number 1, Rian wants to buy two packs of biscuits at the Sari Sari store. Each pack costs 9 pesos. If Rian has 20 pesos only in her wallet, will she have enough money to buy the biscuits? Why or why not? Students, what does Rian want to buy at the Sari Sari store? Rian wants to buy packs of biscuits. How many packs of biscuits does Rian want to buy? She plans to buy two packs of biscuits. How much does each pack of biscuits cost? Each pack of biscuits costs 9 pesos. How much money does Rian have in her wallet? She has 20 pesos in her wallet. What are we asked to determine? We are asked to determine if Rian has enough money to buy the biscuits. Now, I will give time to solve the problem individually. Afterwards, I will ask for volunteers to present their solutions and explain their answers. What number expression represent the total price of the packs of biscuits Rian wants to buy? The total price can be represented as 2 times 9 pesos. How do you know that the number expression is 2 times 9 pesos? Since Rian wants to buy 2 packs of biscuits and each pack costs 9 pesos, we can find the total cost by adding 9 pesos, which is the price of 1 pack twice. 9 plus 9, which is the same as 2 times 9. What is the total price of 2 packs of biscuits? The product of 2 times 9 pesos or the sum of 9 plus 9 is 18. This means that the total price of 2 packs of biscuits is 18 pesos. Therefore, the total price of 2 packs of biscuits Rian wants to buy is 18 pesos. Can Rian buy 2 packs of biscuits with her 20 pesos? Why or why not? Yes, Rian will have enough money to buy the 2 packs of biscuits because 18 pesos is less than 20 pesos. She will have 2 pesos left after buying it. How much will be the total price if Rian buys one more pack of biscuits? The price of two packs of biscuits is 18 pesos. Add another 9 to find the price for three packs. 18 plus 9 is equal 27. So the total price for three packs of biscuits is 27 pesos. 
Will Rian's money be enough to buy one more pack of biscuits? Why or why not? No, Rian will not have enough money to buy three packs. She has only 20 pesos, but the total cost for three packs is 27 pesos. She is short of 7 pesos to buy the third pack. If Rian buys 2 packs of biscuits, the total cost will be 18 pesos, and she will have 2 pesos left from her 20 pesos. Since each pack costs 9 pesos, after buying 2 packs, she is short of 7 pesos to buy a third pack. Rian can only buy up to 2 packs of biscuits with the money she has. For problem number 2, Peter folds a large piece of paper in half each time. How many sections will the paper have after 4 folds? What does Peter have? Peter has a large piece of paper. What does he do with the paper? Peter folds the paper in half each time. How many times did Peter fold the paper? Peter folded the paper four times. What are we asked to determine? We are asked to determine the number of sections there are after four folds. Now, I will give time to solve the problem individually. Afterward, I will ask for volunteers to present their solutions and explain their answers. For teachers, for the solution number one, take a piece of paper and fold it in half four times, one fold at a time. After each fold, carefully open the paper and count how many sections are created. How many sections are there after one fold? How many sections are there after two folds? How many sections are there after three folds? And how many sections are there after four folds? For solution number 2, multiply the previous product by 2 every time Peter folds the paper. Why do you have to multiply by 2 each time Peter folds the paper? Each time Peter folds the paper, the number of sections doubles. This means that for every fold, the paper is cut into two smaller parts for each section. So after each fold, there are twice as many sections as before. How many sections are there when Peter folds the large piece of paper in half for the first time? There are two sections after the first fold. What happens when each of the two sections get folded into two smaller parts? The total number of sections doubles from 2 to 4. What happens when each of the four sections get folded into two? The number of sections doubles again from 4 to 8. What happens when each of the 8 sections get divided again in half? 
the number of sections doubles again from 8 to 16. Therefore, there are 16 sections after Peter folded the paper in half four times. To summarize the lesson, emphasize the following points in solving word problems. Number one, read and understand the problem. Number two, know what is us. Number three, identify the given information. Number four, find out what numbers and details are given in the problem. Number five, make a number sentence that represent the problem using multiplication by two. If needed, show the multiplication as repeated addition. And number six, solve the problem. Do the math to find the answer. Read the problem carefully, show your solution and final answer. Number one, Kuya Ranjo bought two trays of eggs. Each tray has six eggs. How many eggs did Kuya Ranjo buy in all? Number two, Zainab makes two hand-woven bags every week. How many bags will Zainab make in five weeks? Number three, a cup of taho costs 10 pesos. If Mercy and Sandro buy one cup each, how much will they pay in total? Day 5 Objectives At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to follow directions on the given test and answer the test correctly and honestly. Third quarter, third performance test in Mod Grade 2. Good job everyone! End of week 5! Thank you for watching! Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest videos. See you on our next lesson and bye!